Orthodox Church is one of the biggest landowners in Israel. It owns the land that both the Israeli parliament and the president's residence stand on, swathes of the Galilee and large parts of Jerusalem. It's no wonder then that everyone wants to know who's going to control this land in the future. Theophilus III was elected Patriarch of the Eastern Orthodox Church in Jerusalem over two years ago, but the Israelis have been reluctant to endorse his appointment. Israeli journalist Meron Rappaport reveals the Israeli demands. In return for recognizing the Patriarch's nomination, the Israelis want the land. Any property, house, land, shop or others that are out for sale or lease for a short term or long term will be presented before a representative of the Israeli government and the government or somebody on his behalf will have the first refusal right to purchase or lease these properties. Land in East Jerusalem and parts of the Old City is at the heart of the debate. This square in the Christian quarter of the Old City has caused particular controversy. It was alleged to have been sold off by the Patriarch's predecessor, Irenaeus I, to some Jewish investors. But behind this negotiation are believed to be a right-wing organization, a Teret Kohanim, whose mission is to Judaize Jerusalem. Uh, certain uh, uh, members, probably government uh, members, uh, they had all sorts of, uh, I don't know, vested interests, they had uh, connections uh, with this Atel uh, Kohani movement, and they tried to, to interfere into the Patriot uh, affairs. The businesses and properties here are mostly in Palestinian hands. The Dajani family took over the Imperial Hotel after the foundation of the State of Israel in 1948. They came here as refugees from Jerusalem. The question is, can the Patriarch protect their tenancy? Two years ago, it, um, an official in the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate leased this building and uh, another building just adjacent with uh, 17 stores. This is at least what is published uh, to an offshore company. In the meantime, Israel doesn't approve the nomination and access to the church's bank accounts and land registry is forbidden. This is the entrance to the land registry and the former uh, financial department of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem. As you can clearly see, the door is locked and it has been so for the past two and a half years. Uh, only the police keeps the keys uh, of this door and they will uh, hand over the keys when the problem is uh, finally resolved. Meanwhile, Irenaeus I is still living in his old quarters in the Patriarchate and still claims that he's the rightful Patriarch and was wrongly deposed. What we're now looking at is the main entrance to the compound where former Patriarch Irenaeus I has uh, lived for the past almost six years, two and a half of which after his dethronement. His uh, stay uh, in here is in violation uh, of the rules of the Patriarchate and of the will of the Orthodox Church of Jerusalem and the Ecumenical Orthodox Church because he has been dethroned. A crucial part of any future peace agreement will be to transfer control of East Jerusalem to the Palestinian Authority. We believe in the peace process and we believe that the, finally we will have our state here. In the village of Bajima, uh, life is this slow. The village, like the rest of it South will America. be under the Palestinian Authority, the Palestinian state, because it's located in East Jerusalem. While politicians jealously covet the valuable and strategically vital land, like this piece of real estate here at the wall between Jerusalem and Bethlehem, Theophilus has his congregation to consider. The clergy here are mainly Greek, but the congregation are Palestinians. They are afraid. Inside them they feel that maybe the Patriarchate will do another deal with the Assyrians. Because this is their experience since 1967. Every Patriarch promised us, but finally we discovered that they rent lands or they sell. That's why they didn't trust. But we hope that 
maybe this policy will change. So that's the uh, shepherd's field belongs to the Orthodox Church. It's the oldest one, the ancient one here. And for example, this land was owned by the community in Beit Sahur. They are our congregation. We love them and we hope now since the, the patriarch, our patriarch Theophilus III will have uh, officially the recognition that of course he will fulfill uh, all the demands and he will gap any, uh, he will bridge any gap that there is uh, between uh, the patriarchate and the congregation and we consider ourselves uh, uh, not Greeks but uh, Palestinians. This sacred history is uh, shared by everybody here, and therefore the patriarchate uh, needs to be uh, respected and uh, to be treated again uh, as a spiritual institution and not to be treated as a real estate agent. Financially squeezed by the Israelis, watched like a hawk in by the, the village Palestinians, of Bajima, life the beleaguered is patriarch the must village, stand like the firm rest of for the church to remain neutral. Luckily, he believes he has God and time on his side. Many empires, uh, many conquerors and uh, leaders, both uh, good and uh, barbaric, <laughs> uh, they came and passed. The Patriarchate still remains here. We will come and go, and the Patriarchate is still here. Sources in the Israeli government have said that the Patriarch's nomination will be approved soon. But if he gives in to Israeli or Palestinian demands, then this representative of this ancient presence in the Holy Land could destroy any hopes of peace.